In this video we're going to look at the mean and the variance of a Cauchy distribution and the Cauchy uh, density can be written like this where the uh, domain is all real numbers or mu which is uh, a shift parameter is all real numbers and we have a scale parameter that's positive. So we want to know is it a PDF? <clears throat> so here we take our density and we're going to make a variable change to y. We're what oh well to get here um, I factor out a sigma squared and then that cancels with one of those but when you factor it out you get one but then you have to divide by sigma squared here so these densities are the same and then I want to do a variable change for the rest of the video let's let y equal this uh, quantity here so dy dx is 1 over sigma so then when you plug that the find the density of y you get this here and this will be much easier to integrate but then to find the mean the variance of x you can use this uh, formula here which is straight would would be straightforward so well now let's calculate the mean of the y so Oh, we're finding it's a PDF. So let's integrate this function over all possible values and um, just you just plug it in. The 1 over pi comes out front. Um, I've done several videos to show that the integral of this is arctangent, you know, over the range of minus infinity to infinity. And then it's pretty straightforward. You plug in infinity there, you get pi over 2. Negative infinity, you get, you know, minus a minus pi over 2 so this becomes pi divided by pi is 1 so it is a PDF now to find the mean you stick in a y and then integrate over all possible values and then we're left with this but if let's do a variable change let's say at w equal 1 plus y squared dw is 2y uh, dy and then we, we'll take that Oh, actually, before we do this, so let's wait a second on that. Let's take this, and, that, and that's because for this interval to exist, both tails have to, I'm going to say, exist. And what that means is <clears throat> they either have to be both finite, you know, when you if you say split it at zero, this has to be finite, this has to be finite, or one of them has to be finite and the other infinite and then this integral is infinite but if they are um, they they both can be infinite but of the same sign and let's say if they're both positive infinity then this is positive infinity if they're both negative then that this is negative infinity but if we have one that's positive infinity and the other is negative infinity then you get infinity minus infinity which is undefined and so we have to investigate that aspect so what I do is I break it up into two integrals which is this and then I do this substitution um, so then you get 1 over w dw when you look at the limits of integration it goes from 1 to infinity and 1 to infinity and uh, this is just the log of w you know from the limits the same and when you plug in one you get zero but infinity it goes to infinity okay so it's one you know zero minus infinity that's this piece and then over here you get infinity you know minus zero so you get the you know infinity minus infinity relationship which is undefined we, we don't know that now there are ways that you can you can trick this into something called the the principle or the Cauchy principle, you know, limit theorem, um, where you, you you let you let these go to infinity in certain ways, and then you end up with a number. Um, but we're not going to do that in this video. Now the second moment, which I find interesting, is this. So the expected value of x squared, you plug it in, and you start calculating. Well, this can be rewritten as a uh, this 1 minus 1 over e to the x so these are the same 
and then you break up the integral and then um, this becomes uh, x, you know the antiderivative is just x at these limits and this right here um, is is just one this is another this is a uh, Cauchy distribution so we know it integrates to one so we get minus one but then when we plug in the limits here we get infinity and then it's minus a minus infinity which becomes plus infinity and that is just infinity minus one so the, it's infinity so the second moment does exist it's infinity which I I find interesting first moment doesn't second moment exists but it's infinity so now whenever we we develop anything with the mean it's going to be undefined so if we look at any central moment it's undefined because the means undefined those are functions you know that involve the mean um, even if let's just say you look at standardized variables where you subtract the mean well now that becomes undefined so the variance is the second central moment and so it does not exist because it's based on the mean and matter of fact no central moment exists well that's all I have for today hope you enjoyed it if you did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye